Galaxy Apps application and search for Fortnite. So as you can see, if you don't have any results showing Fortnite, that means your device is incompatible like mine. But if you have a non-Galaxy device, you can go to the email that Fortnite sent out to everyone on the waiting list like I'm showing you right now on screen and you can just press the get started button right below and you can download the APK from their site. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head down to this application called build.prop, links are in the description and give it super SU access. So after that go ahead and press edit on the top right and make the changes that I'm showing on screen right now. So now we're basically making the device think we have a Galaxy S9 Plus which is an official supported Fortnite device and just save it and restart your device. So once your device is restarted and back onto the home, it should think that your device is now the Galaxy S9 Plus because that's what we did just a few seconds ago. Now if you go back into the Galaxy apps, you can see that Fortnite is already being promoted to us in the home page. Just go ahead and press install and open and give it a few seconds. Alright, so as you can see, the application installed and it's opening up right now. There you go, so once it opened up, we have another issue. Now it's telling us that our device is incompatible and it's not supported and you know, it's just telling us we can't install the actual game. So now you open up an application called GL Tools, links are in the description once again, and open up Fortnite installer settings and give it custom setting options and choose the fake GPU option and also choose the template called Adreno 540. So now the device thinks you have an Adreno 540 even though you don't. Now when you open up the Fortnite installer, instead of telling us that we have an incompatible device, because we changed the GPU or spoofed it, now it's telling us install the actual Fortnite application. Go ahead and give it storage permission and let the Fortnite application install. So once it's done installing, you can go ahead and launch the actual Fortnite application and now we have another problem. Now it's telling us that the device is not supported but the problem really is that they're telling us that the device has an incompatible GPU. So remember how we spoofed the GPU for the Fortnite installer app? So we're going to do the same thing again and go into Geo Tools, but exactly like we did for the Fortnite installer, we're going to locate the actual Fortnite application and we're going to do exactly what we just did. I'm going to enable custom settings, enable fake GPU and use the template Adreno 540 once again. Now I'm going to clear everything I have and go back into the actual Fortnite application. Now you'll be surprised that we no longer get the error, it just tells us that an upgrade is recommended to Android Oreo, but if I do that I'm going to lose root access, so I'm just going to press continue and head down. So now it's initializing, downloading and all, doing all that stuff. By the way, it took like 20 to 30 minutes for this part and I'm fast forwarding it like crazy, that's why you can kind of see the background lighting change because my window is like right next to my desk so yeah this part took a long time but just keep it going and after that's complete you'll be brought up to the home page or the loading screen and over here you'll get another message saying that the upgrade is recommended once again I'm gonna press continue and ignore it and just keep going so now it's saying starting Fortnite. So now we have a new Fortnite loading screen and once this is done, it's gonna ask you to log into your account. Just press yes right there and log into your Epic Games account. I'm gonna blur it and fast forward it so I don't wanna show you guys my account of course. And I'm gonna make sure Epic Games doesn't find out my actual account. So once that is done, it's actually gonna take you to the lobby. I mean before that, it's gonna ask you what combat you want what combat style you want and all that stuff just press ok and now you're actually in the lobby this is the official android fortnite lobby and as you can see it looks exactly like it does on pc or xbox or whatever it's slightly different but you have all the same components you can choose between any game style i'm just gonna press solo and begin 
So as you can see, we're in the, uh, what do you call, the starting island. And as you can see, the game is quite laggy, but not as much as I thought it would, because I thought it, since it's optimized only for like the S9 and Note 8 and whatever, it might look really bad and be super choppy on my A5. But it's actually doing a good job and it's working decently fine. As you can see, if I go to settings, I have the option to choose between different levels of graphics. But the problem is, as you can see, when I go on to the actual game and start on the battle bus, as soon as I leave the battle bus, it kicks me back onto the lobby. So that